In this video, I'm showing you how to write viral LinkedIn posts using ChatGPT or any other AI tool. I'm gonna to be walking you through the process of prompting ChatGPT to get the right content and then turning that content into an actual good LinkedIn post that people want to read. A LinkedIn post that will attract leads as well as a LinkedIn post that will get engagement and have the potential to go viral. So let's get into it. First thing you need to understand is how to use AI to write good quality content. And you need to understand AI is a useful tool, but it is terrible at writing content for you. The best way to use AI to create content is to use it for research. So getting information for the post that you're trying to create. For example, the post that I'm gonna show you in this video is a post on how to rank number one on Google. The reason you don't want to use AI for writing your post is because AI is terrible at writing. Your writing is gonna come out very robotic. It's gonna be very obvious that it's AI and it's not gonna be formatted in the right way. It's going to be using very robotic, vague, and useless words like supercharge and elevate and stuff like that. And generally, you'll spend more time prompting and editing than if you just write the post yourself. The best thing that you can do is learn how to write, learn copywriting, and you'll write way better posts than you ever would, even if you spent all those hours learning how to prompt AI, because AI is just not where it needs to be in order to create actual good content. The first step of writing a post using AI is to prompt your AI to get the information you need. My prompt is what are 10 ways to help a blog post rank number one on Google? You could also write, give me 10 ways to X. So give me 10 ways to rank a blog post on Google. The thing is you need to ask for more steps, more ways, more tips than you're actually going to include in your content because AI will give you a lot of crap steps. So. <laughs> You want to have options that you can choose from so you can choose the best options. So here we'll get 10 different options. And then when I'm actually writing the post, I'll focus on the options that I think are best for the post. Usually with a post like this, I'll go up to like five different ways. Then you copy this AI content to your editor. So I've already done this, but before I show you the process of editing that content into an actual good post, let me show you what AI created when I told it to write a post. So you can see why it's terrible at actually writing posts for LinkedIn. So first of all, why is there emojis in your hook want to rank Number one on Google, here's how you can do it. Why is there exclamation mark? This is an okay hook, but a better hook would be, here's how to rank number one on Google. Like you don't need all these words to say something that you can say in much less words. And then if you actually look at the formatting, this is what it looks like on mobile. It's too dense. It's not skimmable. It's not easy to read it's not formatted for mobile the way it needs to be. And there's emojis in every title. It's, that's just unnecessary. Like I personally dislike that a lot. And you can tell that this is AI. It will say stuff like it's not about, or it isn't just about blah, blah, blah. It's about this, like that's AI through and through. The conclusions whack, but that's enough tearing this apart. Let's actually open up our AI results and show you how to edit this into an actually an actual good post. So the first thing that I do is to start with basic formatting. So for this particular video, I'm going to focus on two points because it doesn't really make sense for me to write a whole post out of this. So I'm going to pick the points that I'm going to use and I'll be right back. Here are the three steps that I'm going to include in this post, target the right keywords, optimize on page SEO and improve page load speed. Now I need to format this so it's easier to read and skimmable and isn't big blocks of text like this. First of all, I'm going to get rid of this intro and we'll rewrite that when I'm ready. What I've done is anything that has been a list of commas I've turned into bullet points. So it's way easier to read as well as I've separated these sentences so that it's easier to skim as well. Before we get to the next section, you can create two months of LinkedIn content with my free 74 LinkedIn post ideas and hooks with examples. Scan the QR code on the screen or click on the link in the description to download these. You've got nothing to lose except for the opportunity to download this PDF because it won't be free and available forever. Download 
Now, next step is to cut the fluff and edit all the writing. So for example, conduct keyword research to find high volume, low competition keywords that are relevant to your topic. That R is completely unnecessary. So stuff like that, like getting rid of words that are unnecessary while still keeping the essence of what you're trying to say is the first pass that I'll do, as well as getting rid of any complicated words where a simpler word would do the same job. So conduct keyword research. Conduct isn't really a word that we need to use here. I could say do keyword research or use keyword research. Look at this right now. And I'm gonna come back with the edited version. Here I have written and edited the content. I've cut the fluff. I have made it much easier to read. So we're at grade four now. Here we can see the difference of the after and before. So this is before, it's at grade seven. <laughs> and this is after we've got it to grade four. We've also, I guess we've added a bunch of characters as well, which was necessary, but we could also cut those things out. So I'm gonna give you an example of what I've actually done here. So I've followed the what, why, how formula for each point. So we've got the what, target the right keywords. Then we've got another what basically, use keyword research to find high volume, low competition keywords relevant to your post. Then we've got why, this makes it easier to rank on Google. And then we've got how, use tools like Ahrefs, SEMrush, Google Keyword Planner also. And then we've got another tip that was relevant. Well, we could get rid of this. We don't need to include that also at all. And we don't really need to include this why for this specific post, because all of this is about ranking highly. And each of these points tells you that doing this helps you rank higher. So we could just get rid of that because it's really just repeating what people should already understand from the context of this. So we can delete all of that. So this tells Google what your post is about and helps you rank higher. We could get rid of that. Faster page load speed equals higher Google ranking. You can get rid of that. So instead of the why, because we've already answered the why in the concept of our post, as well as the intro, we don't need to include that. So we can just include the what and the how. So target the right keywords and then explain what that means. And then the how optimize your on-page SEO, explain what it means. And then the how improve page load speed, explain what it means. Actually, this does not explain what it means. Having the faster page load speed equals higher Google ranking is better. So let's have that there. So improve page load speed, faster page load speed equals higher Google ranking. Change that to faster page load speed equals better user experience. And then how to improve your page load speed. Then we've got the conclusion. When you optimize your post for SEO and user experience, Google ranks your content higher. Follow me for more content like this. Very straightforward. After I write each post, that's when I go to write the hook, the intro and the conclusion because you already got the content included. So for this post, it's get your blog to the top of Google in three simple steps. Really, I would want this to be rank number one on Google in three simple steps. But then this is a little unclear if this is like a noun or a verb and we have to include this to say number because if we use the hashtag or pound sign then it will turn this into a hashtag so that's why i went with get your blog to the top of google in three simple steps because it's very clear and people will understand exactly what they're going to get out of this post then our intro is the key to ranking high on google is optimizing your posts for search engines and readers and this is true this is the why behind why you need to read this post so you can understand how to optimize your post for search engine and readers. And then we've got here are three ways to do this. So you know that this is what you need to do. And then I'm telling you, here's how to do it. Um, I've kept this very simple and very straightforward. If you want a deep dive into how to write a LinkedIn post from scratch, you can watch my video on how to write a LinkedIn post step by step. I'll link that in the description as well. This is how you turn AI content, which is trash. <laughs> if you was to copy and paste AI content, you're gonna get no results. Trust me, minimum level effort gets minimum level results. This is how you turn that minimum level content into good content that people actually want to read, people will actually engage with, 
people will actually read the whole post and you'll actually get more reach. If you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll see you in the next video.